For me, it feels like I was born in a child care program. Uh, I kind of was. Uh, not really, but pretty close. Uh, my mom was pregnant with me when she and another group of mothers who needed child care came together and started Robin's Nest. Um, I was the first baby of the center. Uh, I was, I've been there since, since birth. Uh, so child care and um, group child care, family child care has been uh, a part of my life uh, forever. Um, I started at Robin's Nest you know, working there when out of college, but uh, really way before that. Um, Robin's Nest was founded uh, 1985 in the old north end of Burlington with a diverse population, with a diverse group of families, and, uh, you know, some brought together through adoption, foreign adoption, mixed race families, uh, families who spoke different languages at home, uh, you know, families from the LGBTQ uh, population. Uh, and Robin's Nest was founded with the goal and the idea that any family that walks through the door, you could see someone uh, who looks just like you. Uh, you could see a family that's, that's put together like yours. You could see uh, somebody who you can relate to and connect to. Uh, again, I was the first baby and I grew up at Robin's Nest. And this idea has been with me, uh, you know, forever, for a long time. Um, and those of you who know my mom know this is an idea that she uh, you know, started and at for Robin's S and really believes in, uh, you can see with her current work today. Um, I, I went to college knowing that I wanted to be a high school teacher. I didn't want to work with, uh, you know, preschool age children, toddler age children, uh, babies. I didn't want to do it. I want to teach high school. I wanted to coach basketball. I wanted to be, uh, an educator, but not, but not at this level. I just knew it. Uh, it was, that was obvious, uh, for me. Um, but then I graduated and I, and I had the opportunity to work at Robin's Nest and, uh, the high school thing didn't work out. And so I came back with the idea that I wasn't going to stay. Uh, I could try it out and, and I could, uh, see how it went, but it was just a job. And for me, I really fell in love with it. I really fell in love with the idea that, uh, you know, these kids, these families, uh, share the same ideas from 1985, uh, in today. Uh, and that's something that I really loved. I loved working with the children. Um, but what I love most of all is that you're having a group of young children, uh, zero through five, six weeks through five years old. Um, and they're, they're sharing the first years of their life uh, with a male care caregiver. And not just a male, male caregiver, but, um, you know, someone of color. Uh, it's different in Vermont. Uh, I think in a lot of other states, in, in, you know, that can be common. Um, people of color in childcare, but it's not necessarily necessarily in Vermont, and not just male, uh, but you know, uh, kind of the obvious right here. Um, you have not just children who are white, but you have children of color growing up in Vermont, seeing somebody like me, uh, knowing that they can be an educator, knowing that uh, there's some comfort there that. The idea from 1985 that you walk into the building and someone looks just like you is still alive today. And, and I'm hoping that I carry that in that somebody, a three-year-old, a five-year-old, four-year-old, they walk in and they see themselves as different, maybe. Uh, they look at me and they know that, uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, they're safe and it's, it's, part of, um, it's part of every day. It's normal. Uh, and that's something that I really hold as important for me. Um, you know, and it goes back, honestly, with the original mission of Robin's Nest, with the diverse community, as well as Let's Grow Kids mission, uh, that all child care quality, every child is given quality child care and in, in an environment where they feel safe and accepted and someone like them uh, is there with them to take care of them and to help them and to teach them as well.